All right, YouTube, it's your boy Alex Trains Chest back here for another video. Today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do Alex Trains Chess, as in the game of chess. And um, the reason I'm doing this is because I just got this brand new 4K webcam and I wanted to give it a go. And I think that I'm going to use it for some upcoming videos, but since I'm just testing it out, I decided that. Uh, I will just use it to film playing some chess. I just played a game and I did win that game um, so hopefully hopefully I'll be able to uh, win this next one. Hopefully this won't just be me losing. So I'm playing on chess.com um, let me get rid of this for a second. So my username is Samurai Slug. Uh, and if you want to challenge me or whatever, I will happily play chess with whoever. Um, got a couple games going with one of my buddies. Oops, that was an accident. Abort. What I want to do right now is I want to play a... Where is it? More... 15-minute uh, game with a 10-second increment. Um, this is why I've been playing predominantly because I'm not uh, I'm not like a great chess player. I just uh, I need a little bit of time to think through my moves. So we're gonna play this. Oh, I've got a game right away. Okay, I have the black pieces. And eat good fruit is my opponent, and he's rated 1272, and I'm rated 1224. So. Let's see what he, okay, he plays uh, e4. I'm just going to respond with e5. I have a feeling this is going to go pretty standard. Yep, this is kind of exactly how the last game went that I played. Yeah, so now he develops this bishop, light square bishop. In the last game, the other guy developed um, this knight first. And what I am going to do in response to this, so sometimes pe people play a6, um, and to tell you the truth, I haven't figured out exactly when is the appropriate situation to do that. Um, let's just see what he does with a6. He's, he might trade off the knight for the bishop, um, and the thing about that is I'm going to have to double up my pawns in in some strange way to account for that if he does take. And I think that I've watched a couple videos where maybe you're supposed to take with the B pawn, not the D pawn. That sort of makes sense because if you take with the D pawn, you kind of take away from the center. Um, but we'll, we'll see what he does in response to this. Okay, so he, he backs the bishop up, which is fine. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to develop this bishop. To here. And then I'll probably then move this, this pawn up to just reinforce this pawn. The nice thing about these long 15 minute games is you really actually do have like a decent amount of time to think. Um, I think in most of the 15 minute games that I've played, I've, I've never gotten below, I think like five minutes. Okay, so he just develops the other night. Um, I think actually what I will do is So I know that in this situation, actually, there is a possibility of some interesting tactics, but I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm quite set up for that yet. Um, so I think what I'll do is just develop this knight, um, maybe with the intent of castling soon. I might 
play for a pawn break in the center. Um, maybe not in this situation, actually. Okay, so he develops to there, or he plays that pawn move. Okay. I think I'm just going to castle. No imminent threats. He could develop this bishop to here, actually. Try and pin my knight. Oh no, he actually advances this pawn. Interesting move. So this pawn right now, so the reason why that's an interesting move is because this pawn right now is undefended. Um, and it also weakens his king side. So if I take this pawn, I feel like what he will then respond with is, is maybe bishop g5, but then I can just play pawn f6. Um, so I don't know what the downside is of just picking up this pawn. Um, there's been no exchanges yet. Um, maybe if maybe if I take and then he takes this here, but then I'll t recapture with the knight. Um, and then he could not recapture with the queen. Yeah, so I'm just going to take this pawn. I don't really know. If if he wants to bring the rook into... Well, hmm. yeah, if he wants to bring the rook into play, then I'll just back the knight back up. Interesting. He develops the bishop there. So, hmm. Okay, so this pawn right here is only defended by the king. Um, oh, I, actually, no, it's defended by the bishop, too. Sorry. <laughs> if I take this bishop, and then he takes with the pawn... Hmm. Okay, so actually, if I trade off the dark square bishop, he recaptures with a pawn, and then I put my knight in here on e3. That's attacking his queen, so he'll want to move the queen. And then I'm looking to see if there's a follow-up move after that. Will I have locked my knight in? Maybe not necessarily, because this pawn will be gone. My knight will be right here. If he goes queen here to try and attack the knight, um, I can I can simply bring the knight back to where it was. Um, if he goes queen to here to try and attack the knight, I can actually bring the knight in here with check and then I can follow up with another move. So, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and actually just exchange the dark square bishop. And I'm not that great of a player. Um, so, you know, I don't know if this um, is really going to work out for me in the end. It, it kind of seems like it will. Um, I'll end up up a pawn. So, yeah, now we recapture this way. And he does bring the queen there. And originally I was thinking knight here, but I forgot that the queen would be able to attack it this way. So let's see here. I could So so the squares that my knight can move to, I can't move here, can't move here, can't move here. I could go here with well, no, actually, I couldn't really do that, could I? Because he'll just take with the queen. So, yeah, I'll just back the knight up. It's fine. But now, look, his his king is, is very vulnerable in this state. In fact, I even have this check. Okay, so he castles, but see... Okay, but I don't have this check because... 
um, because his knight could take my queen. Um, I could just play this pawn up, um, allowing my bishop to protect my knight. Um, I am actually looking at also a move like Mm, no, that's not that good, because then he'll just take with the knight. I take with the pawn. Okay, yeah, I think I will just... Hmm. The other thing, too, is he could, he could just try and trade off this knight. And... I don't know if I'm ready to lose that knight yet. Perhaps another good square for the knight is actually the b4 square, although uh, admittedly in that position the knight's undefended. Um, pawn up could just kind of thwart that. Um, I could play the knight back to here, but then I undefend this pawn. Okay, so I feel like this is just the most sensible move. Uh, oh, okay. So now he plays up with the pawn. And now, um, let's see here. I, I feel like there should really be some way to exploit this position, but I'm not really seeing it. It's not really obvious to me right now. Um, and I, I still have to develop um, this piece. So I think that this is a good time to just retreat the knight. Just kind of looking around the board. I don't really see any aggressive advances yet, so I'll just retreat the knight. You know, maybe better than this pawn move maybe would have actually been uh, actually b5. Um, although his, his knight and his bishop are defending that square, so b5, yeah, maybe not, maybe actually not the greatest move. Um, but I kind of want to get this, this knight out of harm's way. Um, maybe bring it over to e6, although then my, my queen is just kind of stuck there doing nothing and I still haven't developed my bishop. Um, also, I'm getting down to nine minutes because I've been thinking and talking. But this is good. Thinking and talking out loud is actually helping me kind of think through strategies a little bit. So b6 takes okay so now he's going to bring his rook into play and that actually undefended this pawn so i could use this opportunity to take this pawn with my bishop and most of my pawns are on dark squares so that's good um so yeah, I think that this is a good time to just reclaim this, or not even reclaim, I'm just, I'm up, up three pawns um, in this situation. And actually, I noticed that, oh, well, this pawn is actually defended by the knight, but still, um, you know, the king might be good coming to a square like this. White's king might be good coming to a square like b1. I'm also trying to get better at just calling out the names of squares because um, especially when I play black, I get kind of disoriented with respect to where things are. So yeah, I I kind of have a minor goal. Like I'd like to get my rating up to maybe like 1700 or something like that eventually. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so now he plays knight into the center there like that. Nice. Nice little aggressive move. Um, now let's see here. 
So he, so with the knight, it's maybe looking to trade the knight off with this one. Um, potentially looking to attack this pawn, although with access to the rook. Although, um, you know, that would just be met with queen takes. Um, what else could happen? So if I take, then he takes, and then he's attacking this knight twice, um, which may may not necessarily be great for me. Well, let's see here. Do I have anything that I can perhaps threaten him with? Um, I could get aggressive and just play this knight in here. Force him to take, then I take with the pawn. But then there's also no follow-up to that. Um, I could also put my knight back here. Um, because it was originally being attacked by this pawn, but now that, that pawn's not there, this might be a good outpost square for the knight. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Just one last quick check to see if there's anything, anything, you know, obviously devastating that I could play here. I'm not, I'm not really seeing anything devastating. Although, if I put the knight here, what's really the long-term strategy for that knight? I guess it's not, not really much. And, oh, and then I would actually lock the bishop in, so that might be a bad move. Um, but I could... Hmm. So if I take, then he takes with the pawn. Then... Hmm. Okay. I think that I'm just gonna back this knight off. Um, he's also really up on the clock now, so <laughs> kind of eating my own words um, with uh, the time control here. I gotta start playing a little bit faster. Uh, not really looking for the perfect plan, but so I think maybe I might retreat the bishop back on the next move. Hmm, he actually can play knight here though. That might be kind of annoying. Oh no, he can't. My queen covers that. I can actually play this b5 move now. Two. Okay, so now he wants to attack the bishop. I don't really have a convenient way of defending that right now, so maybe best to just back this off. And then if he moves this knight, I'm attacking this pawn. Ooh, but now this knight move might be might be a challenge to defend. Okay, so he's doubling up the rooks now. Hmm. Pawn move. I go after his bishop, then he'll he'll play the bishop to here. This pawn is completely undefended though. But I think I have to deal with this by doing that. Yeah, so it's interesting how this file opened up. Also, how I haven't even moved my queen yet. My pieces are kind of cramped, whereas white's position is kind of open. So, like, I mean, if he plays queen here, um,
we'll need to do something about that. Okay, so now night in here. Oh yeah, now I can't take it. Oh, this is um, this has gotten uh, not not great. Um, but now I do have this square open to attack the queen. Let's do that. All, all these pieces in the center. Ah. Okay. This is gonna. This is now. This is now becoming really problematic. Um. So now it's it's mate and one unless I basically do something about this. Could play pawn up here. Yeah. Okay, now he sacrifices. He gets rid of my knight. Oh, forked. Well done. Well done. Tactic, tactic missed. That was a big blunder on, on my behalf. I should have thought about that a little bit longer. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. That sucks. Well done. Recapture that way. Ah, oh, man. See, I was thinking about the clock, which was which was dumb. Now I'm gonna have to play with the king. Okay, took that pawn so that now he can play with the rook here wow this um this went bad for me really fast I can re if i recapture this knight then takes i have to run the king away Recapture with king takes queen takes. Oh man, this is not good. I uh, yeah, I spent too long ignoring that threat. I'm just gonna take with the rook. Yeah, now he'll probably just take this as he should. Yeah, check. Okay. Um, this pawn, yeah, this is going to be, um, this is going to be mate here. If I go, if I go back here, check, and then I have to go here and then check. I get, well, yeah, that's really the only move I can make, but he's going to get one of my rooks. Maybe not. Ah, uh, see, but then this got forked. Oh man, this just completely fell apart. Okay. Hmm. Try this. Okay. 
Oh, he can check me with the queen and escape. Oh, man. Yeah, that sucks. The game was not going that bad. Until I missed that fucking tactic with the queen. Oh, wow, he didn't, he didn't check. Well, that really surprises me. Okay, I'm just going to get... Grab his rook here really fast. Okay, now he checks there. Can block. If I play king here, then this is checkmate. But I think if I block. Oh man, this is falling apart. Wow, and this wow, this is twenty six minute long video. Okay, this is um, this is not looking great. Don't trap the king. I feel like I need to. Need to make space for the king to run, basically. Um, hmm. So, end game is something that I'm really, really not good at. It's like, as if I wasn't already demonstrating being bad at tactics. Um, Hmm. Let's just try it. This is this is very winning for white for sure. <laughs> okay, he takes. And now I need to move the king even though it undefends it undefends stuff. Cause these two squares Okay, going after this pawn. Sensible move. Um, I'm just going to take this pawn because I don't know what else to do. Okay, now this pawn is pinned. You can line the queen up. This pawn is also undefended. Mm, I can attack his rook. Why do that though? Yeah. Okay. 
to get an advance this pawn, but hmm. Oh boy. I should have just played rook up. I don't know why I didn't do that. Dumb. Okay. Just put it back where it was. Check. Hmm. Where to run to? That pawn. Now, interesting. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's probably a stupid move. Check. He's just got too many pawns. Uh. Okay, this is stupid. Resign. Okay, good game, eat good fruit. Let's um, let's go back here. This is all good. Maybe I should chase this bishop there. I don't know. This was a part where I felt that the game was actually going pretty good. Um, I felt like my position was fine, very stable. Was just waiting to complete the development. Took that pawn. Then he jumps in with the knight here. And here's where. Here's where I kind of feel like I should have maybe done something more aggressive or different. Um, although, maybe not. Maybe this was fine. Rook here, back here. Let's go to... Okay, this is where I jump in with my knight. And this is where I let myself... Okay, so he brings his queen over there. I have to play this move to prevent mate. Then he sacrifices here. Now, what I should have done was this. <laughs> that would have been worlds better than what I did. Instead, I, I fell for this tactic, you know, where I, I took with this. And then... Um, and then just this fork. 
you know, king is in check, queen. That was that was really dumb. Interesting. Seven blunders. I wonder if it'll let me do this. Okay, where's the blunder? I thought that I had to be like a... Oh, uh, upgrade to save. Knight d7. Yeah, interesting. It tells me to... It tells me that I should have taken here. So... If I go back one move... I take why is that I don't get why that's so much better though so then what he takes maybe because of these double pawns and then but then what I mean oh because if if this, then, yeah. Oh, interesting. Ah, go back. It's actually saying that this would have been a better move. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it gets my, gets out of the pin. But it does lock in the queen. Not that that's a huge deal, but um, then it's sort of, I suppose white still could play this move, but then I would have been in, in a better position and that his his knight, when his knight was up here, that should have been a warning sign that there's some tactics. Um, rook cross here. Oh, interesting. This is saying that I should have blocked with the bishop. Yeah. Yeah, I was I felt a little bit under the under the gun here at the time crunch, but anyway, that's why I'm an eleven eighty seven player, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a good game. Um, C five, yeah. I mean, of course, it says this is a blunder. I had no idea what I was doing there at all, um, for sure. Yeah, because it just it opened up the queen to the bishop. Insane rook back here. Yeah, I should study some endgame stuff. Okay, well, anyway, that's me testing out my 4K camera. Um, and I think that maybe like once a month or something, I'll plan on posting chess videos. I'm going to be playing chess a little bit more often just because I do want to get that rating up. I do want to get better at the game. Um, and, yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm okay-ish in mid-game. Of course, I fell for that tactic, but I really should study more openings um especially just the first five moves i think like i play a lot of games where i think like the within the first five moves i can tell that i'm I'm not in as good of a position as i probably would be if i was playing you know some kind of theoretical line or something like that but you know that's what separates you know me from better players for sure um and yeah and then just end game stuff um, you know, I, I play with a buddy of mine who's a lot better than me also. We play like kind of these really long games and we've gotten into a couple end games. Um, he's beaten me every time and I've, I've got him in a draw once. Um, and, but other than that, we've gone to a couple end games where I just have no idea <laughs> what to do at all. So anyway, um, study m up more on that and, um, yeah, I'll probably... Uh, throw some more some more chess in here as time goes on so with that Alex trains chess checking out again if you want to challenge me samurai slug no worries um, you can um, you can happily also tell me that you'd like the game to be broadcasted on YouTube if you want and you can show yourself beating me or who knows maybe I might beat you um, we'll see but yeah, any you guys want to play chess, I'm happy to play. So, wow, and this is a 40-minute video, so let's stop this. All right, later.